Let's get it. I'm just trying to get rich. I can't go where the paper don't flow. I can't hang if you ain't about the dough. Let's get rich. If you stagnant, not worry about no bread. Ain't no way that you could get ahead. I'm trying to get rich. rich. Stacking paper, trying to live a better life. I can't be broke, worry about no jewels and nights. Let's get rich. I can't go where the paper don't flow. Playing with the mic. Right. I gotta make sure they can hear me now. That you can get ahead. I'm trying to get rich. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. This is Pick a Struggle. Pick a struggle. Uh, we're coming to you live from the Fishboat Network, located at the Global Life Park. And um, I've learned my lesson last time. Last time I watched us. Or listen to us, I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear either. Yeah, I had to like Be buy like, some speakers, put it on extra loud, right? And then the mic was going out. I was like, uh, good, good, good. but we got it. We we learning. We this, gonna be in your ear today, right? This is our second show. I'm gonna make sure I'm just right up in here. Wait, hold on now. Back that up a little bit now. Listen, <laughs> Corona out here, and she tripping. That's why I told him to uh, make sure you you wipe that mic down. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are all right, especially since what's going on. <sighs> Corona. Rona. She's still in lives. Lives. In jobs. Right. But uh, in school. So we're, let's go ahead. And get, oh no 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 no. There's a couple of pe- there's a couple of things I wanted to do before we actually start the show. So I wanted to say happy belated birthday to my queen supreme of Nacho Supremes, Miss Lapri. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, she turns twenty two. Yes, she turns twenty two. <laughs> Yes, honey. She turned 22. 22. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm barely legal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she, you didn't even do anything, did you? No. Because it was during the quarantine yes. crap. Yeah. Everything shut down. My Girl, little plans. even funerals. I was supposed to go to a funeral yesterday and couldn't go to it because people are like, I don't want to go out. So what they going to do with the bodies? Girl, I don't know. They just sitting up there. They're they just home. sitting there because they weren't getting. Uh, I don't think they were getting. Uh, what to call it? They weren't getting uh, embo- um, embalmed. Burned. Oh, okay. So they were going to. There get was no ashes. Uh-huh. It was going to be an actual body. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay. So what are y'all going to do with that? But I didn't want to ask that because right. kind of rude. Yeah, yeah, it is. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, is it weird that I was like, thank God, because I ain't got to buy an outfit to go to the funeral now? Hell no. You know how many things I have thought, thank God for it since Corona has started. Right. No, one thing I was mad about <laughs> is because um, I was supposed to get a tattoo. Yes. Yes. And God said, no, here's the Corona. I'm like, what? I was supposed to go get me a tattoo because I got this arm. You get, you, can you see it? I got this arm, this, uh, this hand covered up, and I was planning on getting... Um, an elephant on this one, mm-hmm. and I was like, I'm going to get it this weekend because we talked about it, right? Because we was going to go together, mm-hmm. and I was like, I'm going to go get this one covered up. My headphones going in and out. <laughs> I can hear you. Okay, you can't. Okay, cool. But yeah, I was going to get that one covered up, and then next thing I know, they're like, no bars, no tattoo parlors, no beauty salons, no hair salons, no nail salons, no greens, beans, right. potatoes, tomatoes. None of that. And you know I'm pissed off. Why? Oh, because your hair is still the same. My oh. hair? Well, no, I can go buy this hair. The, the, the beauty supply is still open, so I'm good on the hair. But my nails, like, I do this every two weeks for 10 years, like I told you. And yeah. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm gonna do when it's when it's time to get a refill. I guess I'm gonna have to go get some Sally Henson <laughs> and uh, whatever, however you say I don't her think name. They're open. What Sally's? I don't think so. Oh well, I'll go to Dollar General. I'll go somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do some with these nails. Right. It's like my signature. It's part of me. Girl, you better than me. No, well, no, you you, you, know you still get your hair braided. I hey, know. don't knock mine. That's because I support black businesses. So where I go, a black woman is doing my hair out, out her, oh, out out her the kitchen, house. In the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> out her house is where she's doing my hair. So I don't care. You know yeah. what? I know somebody who do nails at their house. I'm going to have to hit her up. Exactly. My cousin used to do it. I don't know why she don't do it no more. I don't know. 
It's expensive. I don't know what happened to her. Your cousin? She got married. I was gonna say, you don't know what happened to your cousin? <laughs> <laughs> she just <Anyway>. disappeared. <laughs> I stopped talking to her. I moved. Oh, okay, okay. I okay. moved. Anyway. Hopefully she's still Jesus. alive and well. Um, did you want to shout out the guy that we were talking about earlier? Um, no. You don't want to? I will, but I don't I don't know all the, the Okay, tags. well then figure that out. Yeah, while, okay. while, while okay. I get myself to well, I do this while she getting <laughs> herself together. But um one thing that we wanted to talk about, because ain't nothing been going on but the the COVID-19. I got to take these off because they're going in and out and it's getting on my nerves. But um, the COVID-19, that's the only thing that's really been going on. And so uh, let's talk about what we've been doing during the quarantine. It's basically what it is. They low-key, no, like no joke, Texas law or even the DFW alone, they low-key sneaked uh, uh, um curfew on us yeah absolutely. because the grocery stores who used to be open to like 10 or 11, 11 mm-hmm. or to or even 24 hours like the walmarts right now they're closing like at eight or nine o'clock mm-hmm. and so since grocery stores are the only places you can like physically go to and talk you mm-hmm. know i mean physically so, go into yeah, and shop and whatever yeah people are at home mm-hmm. around that time right right so it's like yeah they, they snuck it in on this i tried to tell my mama that she wouldn't <laughs> it's because they she, didn't come out with no standard announcement. Hey, y'all, we got a curfew now. They, yeah. yeah, they slid it in there. They're not forcing you yeah. to stay home, but right. they low key telling you, get, get your, your butt home. In get the your booteous Maximus get your to the house. house. Right. And uh, one thing I've been doing, I had posted this on Facebook. I was dancing to Michael Jackson experience on the Wii. Uh huh. <sighs> so you're working out. Yeah. That's good. That was horrible. That was a struggle within <laughs> itself. Because let me tell you something. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you what I told myself. So I had did, I did about six songs. Uh-huh. And I'm, so I'm you, in the. That's your fault. Shut up. I'm in a, <laughs> I'm in a, uh, I'm in the the process of because it's on my mom's game Mm -hmm. and I'm in the process of making sure my name is all around the high school board. Okay. So my name is on majority of the songs that are on the, on the game. Okay. And I had did about six songs and then about the fourth song. No, about the third song. I got a cramp. Oh Lord. Did you scratch first? No, no, I didn't scratch. (laughs) I did not scratch first. And so I got a cramp and then, uh, then I, I did the sixth song, and I was like, you know what? If I was Beyonce, this would be my first costume change. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then after I did the costume, because I was in my mind, I'm costume changing. Right. But in reality, I'm on Facebook, <laughs> right. scrolling through, seeing what was going on. Uh-huh. And then I was doing so much scrolling, I forgot, and I was like, I'm going to turn this game off. <laughs> <laughs> and put on Law and Order SVU because it's a marathon on today. <laughs> I was like, let me just go ahead and just do that. <laughs> well, Thank you work. for wiping down the knobs, girl. <laughs> the Corona. Right, the Corona app. What you, been do- what you been doing? Do- oh, and then I also been working, but we're going to touch on that a little bit later. But what you been doing during the... <sighs> working. Uh, oh, yeah, because you work in a warehouse. Yeah, my, they like come to work. Wash your hands. Right. He literally got on a email and it was like, hey... Y'all can work. They ain't nothing the wrong with y'all. I wash y'all hands and come on the clock in at uh, 4 a.m. or whatever time you're supposed to be there. So that's what I've been doing. But I can tell you one thing. These kids. What about them? They are working my nerves. Oh, yeah, because they know school. They know school. You know, some. Um, I was listening to NPR News. Some people were trying to figure out what to do with students after this thing goes down. Like, because mm-hmm. some schools, uh, some states or some school districts have shut off schools just for the, All the way for the remainder of, of the, the semester year. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like after the summer, and let's say stuff comes back up to normal around mm-hmm. August or whatever, when kids go back to school, like what to do? Do they repeat a grade? Like, what, like what's going on? I'm not okay with that repeating a grade thing. I don't think that's fair. I mean, because they have ways to send them stuff to you know through email and things like that. Not public. My daughter gets she gets a uh, schoolwork through email. Oh okay. Oh they, no, what's oh. They have like some form called like Canvas or something in Grand yeah. Prairie School District, and she does work there. And then my son does um like play work. 
I guess you would call it because it's not for a grade. It's just to keep him from falling behind. Yeah. Um. Dang, uh, class do- class dojo. So they got ways to kind of keep them from being from falling behind. You so know, I don't understand the whole repeating the grade this, thing. This is funny because now I feel old, and I know you got to feel older. I don't. But, uh, <laughs> I feel old because I didn't know anything about. Like, when I was in high school, mm-hmm. there was no online anything. Absolutely not, yeah. And now it's, um, like what's going on now, kids are, you know, doing stuff online, whether they're in um, middle school, high school, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, I didn't know I didn't know about online anything when it came to schoolwork, homework, or anything until I got into college. Mm-hmm. And now I'm like, and I have a little sister who's in high school. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, girl, what you doing? Oh, I'm doing homework. Homework. Ha! Yeah. Right. <laughs> they don't need no books. <laughs> you know how much of a shock I was in when they told, when my daughter was like, oh, my oldest daughter. When right. she was like, we, you know, we don't use textbooks. We do everything online. I'm like, because I'm looking for books. I'm looking for, you know, pens and pencils and paper and all that. Uh-uh. Everything online, <laughs> which is okay for the current situation. I mean, it actually working out. Yeah, it but does. you know, it is yeah. what it is. But I just, I just feel kind of because we're like me and my youngest, we're like thirteen years apart. Mm-hmm. So this is like darn near a whole generation I difference, have, right? Yeah. Yeah, she got a whole tablet and a phone. And I was like, girl, I had a computer. We was dialing up. Okay. Before and you don't get born. on the phone. Don't get right. on the phone. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's upset they're trying to call but they can't get through because you on the internet. Like that's what I remember. <laughs> it's so funny that you say that because my daughter asked me the other day. She was like, "Well, what did y'all do when y'all was wasn't at home or y'all didn't want, y'all want to block somebody and things like that?" We left that's, the phone off the hook. Exactly. I said, yes. you "Just take the phone off the hook and just let the receiver do that little boo." You remember that little beeping noise that they would do? <laughs> I miss that noise. I really do. I miss. And even now, you can't even hang up on people like you want. You to. can't slam no phone down. You gotta. No. You gotta, uh, unless you want to uh, crack your screen, I know. You gotta, that's the only how you gonna do it. And then with me, I can't even push because I gotta look at it and then wait for it to light back up, and then be like, okay, there's the end button. <laughs> Basically, you just block people now. You don't gotta worry about none of that. You just block them. They can't. Call, they can't call you. Yeah, they can't, can't text you. But uh, one thing I wanted to talk about. One thing I wanted to say about since we're. Uh, Quarantined. Quarantine. One thing I want to talk about is be Quarantine. nice to service workers. Please be nice to the people who have to constantly, st- who still have to go to work, mm-hmm. regardless of what's going on. People who work in the grocery stores, people who work in the fast food industry, people who work in healthcare. Please be nice to those people. Mm-hmm. And I'm letting all the service workers know this is your time to be rude to people. <laughs> this is your time. Let me tell you, like, uh, it's the song all oh, about uh, by Donna Lawrence. It's your time. It is your time <laughs> to be rude to customers. <laughs> if they come to, the, if they come with the BS, don't be rude just to be rude. Right. Be rude if they come with the foolishness. If they playing those whole stroll games, please. <laughs> I'm letting you know now. You are able to be rude. And I remember when I, because I'm still a service worker now, mm-hmm. kind of. But I have a question real quick before you get into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why are aren't the service workers should be the one that's being quarantined? You would think. Because they're the ones working with the come, public the most. They come in contact yeah. with a lot of people in a short amount of time. They quarantine people that work at the call center. They're doing Yeah, I don't understand, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. <laughs> the they come in contact they're... with nobody. Yeah, you just on the phone. I like, don't get it, but I don't get it. We ain't get paid the big bucks to make those kind of decisions. Wait. So, oh. we just got to roll with the punches. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, be rude to people. <laughs> like, I don't, I, I don't, because, like, now, I, I, the only thing I do now is I deliver groceries to people. Mm-hmm. That's one thing that I do. I, I call me a jackass of all trades. I have plenty of ways to make money. Mm-hmm. So, even though one job falls through, I got another one. Right. And then now falls through. Trust and believe me, I do have another one. You remind me of that uh, <laughs> that in Living Color episode with the Jamaicans. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have a job for everything. They yes. have five jobs, that's and what... they feel like if you ain't got more than five or whatever, then you you like... got a real Jamaican. Yeah, and that's me. I probably do. I probably do got Jamaican in my blood. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, I've worked in. I've, I've, worked in fast food i've worked in grocery stores and i've worked i've done uber i've done lyft i've done instagram like i've done a whole bunch of service jobs Mm -hmm. and 
during regular schmegler kind of times, you're like, okay, I'll be nice to that person regardless if they're mean to me. Right. But I'm letting you know now to this time is the proper time to be mean to people. You ain't going to gonna let get people fired. know. Yeah, you ain't going to get fired. They need you. A Walmart hiring 150,000 people. Child, if you get fired from McDonald's, girl, go, go get you a job at Walmart exactly. and wiping down carts and buggies and stuff. Right. Like, just go find you a whole nother job because trust and believe it, they ain't going to... Ain't nobody worried about it. Yeah. But I, I used to hate it when people used to be rude to me for no reason. And it used to really irk my nerves, especially since I have the I will have the mindset, if I'm rude to you back, I will lose my job regardless who started it. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, like I had a cousin who worked at the Cowboy Stadium. Mm-hmm. A customer had pushed her, and she pushed him back, and he fell down the stairs, and she ended up losing the job behind that. <sighs> And I'm just like, like I hate when stuff like that happens. Right. So I'm letting you know now. Now, with this corona crap going on, and Black Friday is your time to be rude to people. Right. Regardless of what's going on. Exactly. Like, just, it's okay. Because they ain't well, going to fire be you. Be rude back. Like he was be saying. rude back. Yeah. Just, not for no... You know, not just because... You tired, your feet hurt. Right. Yeah. Be rude if they're rude to you. If they're nice to you... Be nice to them. Yes. But if they're rude to you, give them the business right back. And because what they gonna do? Mm-hmm. And give out them tips, honey. Y'all get these yeah. tips out. Give out the Quit tips being to the stingy service workers. And yeah. want to give them a dollar. Too. I can't tell you how many times that I got a two dollar tip for the stuff that I did. And that is so. That is just. I always try to give a good a good tip because my daughter is a, a server. I can't say waitress anymore. She's a server, so I understand how it is when you, you're only getting paid two dollars an hour. Yeah. The tips is going you know carry you over. So give a good tip. Right. Give five, ten dollars, twenty if you can afford it. I mean, a little bit. I know y'all got a little bit of taxes left. Go on and give out a tip. Give right. out a tip. I know you got taxes left because a little bit. I know y'all got a little bit because we got quarantine right right after right. tax season. I mean, right after we got our taxes. So which is weird because I still ain't found my taxes. Shouldn't have spent yet. the money. You I ain't filed them yet? Nope, I still have it. Well, you know they gave us an extension for the people who hadn't filed yet. I don't so. care. Oh, okay. I don't care. But, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I remember working I remember working in Walmart, mm-hmm. and I used to have to work on Black Friday, mm-hmm. which was horrible because Black Friday is the same day as Thanksgiving. Not the same day. It is the same day. Because, oh, it's that night. Yeah, yeah, because right. yeah. people, because Thanksgiving is typically on Thursday, and people who work in... Um, grocery stores or mm-hmm. they work in retail, they would have to be there Thursday night into the Friday morning right, yeah. for the Black Friday stuff. And so I would be there and I would have people asking these stupid questions, being super rude, want to run you over with their buggy, <laughs> want to push you over. And so I felt, I remember my first Black Friday I worked, I was just like, no holds bar. I'm not caring. I don't give a damn. I'm just not caring anymore. Yeah. And I had this one customer and this one customer end up getting the business and I didn't I didn't mean to, but it just happened. It was just like a you just at the wrong place at the right time. Right. <laughs> I remember he was, he came up to me, he was like, Where's your restroom? In the same place it was yesterday. <laughs> Maybe That's where it's at. Maybe he never been in there. He was, that's what he said. He's like, I wasn't here yesterday. And I was like, well, this store been up for like 25, 30 years. So I know you've been here before. <laughs> the restaurants ain't, the restrooms ain't changed. Right. So it's in the same place. And he was like, are you serious, sir? I don't have time for your stupidity. <laughs> so this sounds like you was ready. You oh, already yeah. knew what Girl, it was. cocked, double barrel, ready <laughs> to go. But you know what makes me sad about the whole quarantine thing is that you see the two types of people. You see the people who are ready for to get with it, and then you see the people who are, you know, kind of trying to be, like, more, like, family and, you know, happy and things like that. Because I see videos of people singing in Sam's Club and singing, you know, whatever songs yeah, together. Because they're trying to be like Italy. Well, I mean, okay, but still, you know, it's like a brotherhood. And then you see the yeah. people who fight over a pack of tissue when they already got 13 in their cart. I just want. Well, I don't understand it. I don't understand the whole fighting over tissue thing Me because neither. tissue is not a necessity. First we want to be real about yeah, this. Yeah, tissue is. It's t- not a necessity. A PSA. <laughs> Robin, <laughs> Robin, <laughs> can I use your bathroom? Hell no, Troy. <laughs> like tissue, you raggedy, <laughs> right? You, <laughs> what you say? Take your broke, <laughs> need a shave, red leather in the summertime. Oh, you better be careful. You pick up in the grocery stores. But no, no, no. PSA. T 
tissue does not solve coronavirus. It does. It doesn't heal coronavirus. It's like, not a necessity. I do not understand why people. I had told my mom this the other day. I was like, girl. <laughs> Why you hoarding this? I would go <laughs> steal napkins from QT before I that, fight anybody thank over you. some tissue. It's not that serious. No, it's not. Not when you got washcloths, when you got showers, you got paper towels, you got newspaper. Yeah. I mean, hell, we doing it wrong anyway by using tissue. Girl, you got a towel that we you don't to use. We're having a bidet. You better, as a matter of fact, maybe this is your time to be taking a shower. Take a bath. After you. <laughs> Ain't nobody took the soap. All the bar soaps and the body washes are still in stock. Right. So you just out you here know wiping your ass and not washing. Black men wear latex gloves than condoms lately. That is actually true. Black men are like scared of condoms or something. I think it's yeah. it's something that they just don't. They it's, it's in their DNA not to wear them. Oh, you know, no. it's crazy. This quarantine. Maybe it's just a natural thing. They just nasty. It's the, your thing. This Ugh. quarantine has gotten the. You know that song "Freaks Come Out at Night." Girl. What, what freaks come what, out what, in the quarantine? Girl. I'm telling you. I can't tell you how many messages I done got. I, listen, and then they hey. be ready to do stuff. I be like, you don't even know me well, you know. See, with me, I'm bored. No. Well, don't be bored with See, you. I don't reply with that. They be like, you know, uh, you know, do you want to come over? Uh-uh, not on Taco Tuesday. <laughs> But listen, though. I'm like, uh-uh. Why, uh-uh. Do you, why are people just forgetting tra- today? No. <laughs> not just <laughs> forgetting. <laughs> why are people distrusting when this is infectious virus running around? Uh, uh, and people just ready to jump in the bed with people? Is that is that a thing? I mean, oh, no. You tell me. I mean, what's going on? You tell me. Is it a thing? <laughs> it has to um, be a thing. It's a thing. People bored as hell. They like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. I'm Quarantine not, and like, chill. You gotta stop using them. I'm phone. sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. This is a family friendly it show. It is. I'm sorry, Facebook. I'm sorry. They like forget it. Yeah. I'ma just I'm gonna just go jump in the bed with uh Sally Tom, Sue. Dick Harry. Yes. No, you Claude. stop it. Oh, you use it in a name. Yeah, Tom Dick Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got you. But, <laughs> Quarantine but yeah, chill. That's, uh, I, I guess so, uh, Gary. Me, that's what they me, doing. It's weird. It's very weird. That's like you don't even care. I mean, you just want to go. But I, you don't care. It's weird, but it's, at the same time, it's like I don't care because a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people, but some people just don't understand that humans are hurting animals. Like there are anim- We are beings mm-hmm. that like to be. With someone else uh, or yeah. a crowd of people, it's a natural thing. It's yeah. a natural thing for us to be with someone else. Because I remember, I remember like my um, prime example. I remember when I had got Jazz, my dog. She's a healer. Yeah, and you know, dogs are like part wolf. They are pack animals, mm-hmm. and so I can tell where she was kind of like feeling a certain type of way because it was just her by herself. Oh. And so I end up getting another dog so they can be together. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing with humans. Like even though. You have certain humans who are like introverts and yeah. like, you know, I just want to be by myself. I don't right. mind being by myself. But at the end of the day, when you have nothing to do, you want guess that, what you want to do? You, you want, want that, to have someone else right. there to like bounce your energy off of and talk to. You want to. that human connection. Yeah. yeah. And so we're, we're like that. And so with all this quarantine stuff, thank God I'm with like my family. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I'd probably be doing some stuff I ain't got no business <laughs> doing. <laughs> Thank God my kids are blocking because right. I will probably be right. doing <laughs> That is my one go to. Ooh, I would love to. But my kids are hurt. So. Right. Mm, sorry. Maybe next time. Yeah. That's all I say. Cause, yeah. And that is like, and I thank God every time I use it, I'm like, thank you. Right. Because I would probably be having like two more kids by the time this quarantine is over. See, I have about three if I could. <laughs> back in the day, back in the gap day, I was just. He was ready for oh, it. I was on there like white. I was on it like white on there <laughs> in there like swimwear. Okay. <laughs> I was just, I was. And you know how swimwear is. Yeah. It, ro- it rides. Oh, rides. <laughs> yes, it does. It got all up in there. Right. What else did I want to talk about? What else did I have on the list? There's plenty of things to talk about. Right. Okay. Let's talk about um, how much time we got left. What time is it? It is Gare time Bear. for us to. We got 23 minutes? Okay, good. We got plenty of time. Gary's trying to sound all sexy. We got 23 minutes. I I, I want to be all on the microphone on your show. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) 
Okay. You have some comments over here. Okay, too, since so. we got 23 minutes, and since you got a microphone, we're going to talk about you. Oh, we're going to talk about the number wanna, two. Wanna, we're going to talk about the number two uh, uh, struggle that's going on. The number one was the coronavirus. Number two is what Gary Bear got going on in his relationship. Gary, is it okay? <laughs> is it okay to speak on it before we just oh, yeah, dive yeah. in? Now? Okay. Man, I'm oh. an open book. You know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm glad. Okay. I'm going to give everybody a rundown. A quick rundown. A quick. I swear I'm gonna be, be quick to... because the commentary gonna be gonna be a little bit longer. Yeah. So we find out today that somebody in this room <laughs> gonna remain nameless. Remain yeah. nameless. I said my name but... five times already. <laughs> 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 somebody in this room is uh, he. They don't have relationship problems, but I see this one. And so, is it, is it a relationship? So, it's a situation. It's a situation. Ship. It's a situation. Yeah. yeah. They got a situation going on, and so it is just so funny. Okay, so this. Okay, this is what it is. So Gary here, Gary is with is with a girl that currently lives with her ex baby daddy, right? Yes. Currently lives with her ex baby daddy, and her and Gary are in this on and off kind of thing. Well, it's only been off when she says it's been off. Only when she chooses for it to be off. Am I right? Yes. Okay. And they've only known each other since November, but they moved so quickly to where he met her family at the Christmas party. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Damn. And what part of November did y'all meet? Because <laughs> <laughs> Christmas parties start like around November the 1st. Okay. Like, like, it, it was on like, cri- like Christmas Eve. It was oh, like Christmas I mean, Eve. but did you meet her at the top of November? Yeah, when did you meet her? Or had you already had Thanksgiving? Uh, it was after Thanksgiving. Oh, my God. Oh. Gosh. And yes. you met the family that quick? Yes. Okay, yes. see, I wow. like talking about stuff like this because I have had a very fast life. I've done a lot of things right. in a short period of time. So when I see someone older like Gary. Wow. <laughs> bang, bang. Do, doing some of the things that I was doing way before he's doing it now. I'm just like, you, let me help a brother out. And Gary's help still pretty out. young, y'all. Just so right. y'all know, Gary's still pretty young. I ain't gonna throw his age out there, but he is not like 50. So yeah. let's just go yeah. Right, like he's that. not like ancient. Yeah. He's like. um, He's still he, young. He's, uh, what is it, Generation X? No, he millennial. No, he's bef- he's right before the millennium. No, millennial started eighty one. So I'm a millennial. Damn, I'm telling my I thought <laughs> I thought millennium started late eighties. No, I looked it up. It actually started. There's two types of millennials, but I'm in the first no, part. There's, no, there's yes, no two is. parts. If you look it up, I'm telling you. The Girl, my battery about to, to die. Into that millennial part. Mille- you know? No, I don't care. <laughs> right, I don't want to be a right. millennial. For, come on now, Jesus. I, okay, if who, I didn't have who, to be in it, I would. Who wouldn't. cares? Gary is the 80s baby, and I'm a He's 90s a baby. You're a millennial. Uh, yeah. Okay, 90s? Okay. Yeah. 90s. That's all you're going to get from me. Yeah. We getting That's closer. all you're going to get from we me. we getting closer. You're getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, okay, then what else happened? So, he met this girl. Where'd y'all meet at? Uh, It was online. They yeah, met on, it, on it was it was Facebook. On it was one of those things. Like, Facebook dating. Yeah, we were on Facebook. Not, not dating. It uh, was like... Uh, we had a lot of mutual friends, you know okay. what I'm saying, like listed on Facebook. So I added her, and then we became friends on Facebook, and then slowly but surely we started reacting to each other's posts more and more. Okay. Oh, like and, and it came stuff. to, yeah, and yeah. And eventually y'all started screwing emojis with each other. And, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, who made the initial, like, well, hey, what's up, the first inbox I, I slid in her DMs. You got it now? Okay. Yeah. okay. I didn't know you were sliding into Eventually, apparently. he slid in the beach. But go right. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> And so, uh, okay, so they met, and then apparently two days after they met, he's meeting the family. And then it was off, and then it was on again, but on on her terms. She called it off, and then she called it back on, and it's only because she was like, you know, I have an ex, and I'm torn between the two, and I don't know what to do. Look at me. I could be a poet. Okay. Right? And then, uh, so it got back on, and then it got off again, and then it got back on on her terms. And then just recently, coincidentally, they got back on again, but f- would you say for two days instead of one? Yeah. Two days. <laughs> They end days. up getting a uh, they end up getting a hotel room over there off an of airport uh, freeway off one eighty three that's fifty dollars a night. Be quiet. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> this guy. 
<laughs> this guy. Now, this was one of the nice ones, you know, had the free breakfast in the morning okay, and everything. Okay, a little confidence of breakfast. You know what I'm saying? What's the end got free breakfast in the still? They be having the waffles that shaped like Texas. Yo, they had that too, the big one. You know what I'm saying? They had three different kinds of omelets. No, 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 no. I probably went to that one too. How do you know that? How do you know they have? So, what happened, Gary? I know. How do you know they got waffles shaped like Texas? What you been doing? Who knows? Yeah, she's she you been what doing. You, <laughs> what you were trying to say about Gary? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. And so Gary ain't confused about how he feel about this girl. Gary's and he's excited. he's not he he has no like there's nothing, you know, blocking him or nothing. It's just that it's me looking on it, you know, look from the outside looking in. And I'm like, some ain't right. Some just ain't right. Yeah. What originally messed me up is because once we started talking and hanging out, things progressed so quickly. I thought we were on that like relationship. We're trying to be exclusive wavelength, right. but she was on her side looking at it completely different. Right. So then when it came to the point where I was like, yo, like we're going to be exclusive. What's up? And she was like, whoa, whoa, hold on. Like mm -hmm. we, we just kicking it. Like we just chilling. You know, when did she decide that? When did that happen? Uh, this, this was a couple weeks ago, you know, and then oh, this is before the shower was on the overhead and your locks man. Was, was down and down. And the water bag. was glistening. Past shoulders, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you scooped her? Scooped. <laughs> scooped. Scooped her, you know what I'm saying? Scooped up. No shower shoes or nothing. Just picked up, you just know? Gripping them, <laughs> gripping them toes against that flow. He didn't want to slide. He was sliding them All you hear is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and, then, and then I guess I weirded her out So she ghosted me yeah. But then a couple of days later She was like Well you know what Sister stay gonna be on A sh uh, whole shutdown And uh, we gonna be quarantined I guess we'll go <laughs> to this air We'll go to this Airport freeway hotel For $50 a <laughs> night And we're smoking free But we can smoke on the balcony nah. Or we can smoke in And then just let it air out We can go there Since we gonna be quarantined And we ain't got nothing else to do nah, So let's this go there happened, and air. This the, the rekindling happened Long before the quarantine I'm not a quarantine Side piece, you okay. know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, well, that's okay. When, 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 when did it happen? When did it happen? When did it happen? Because you're definitely a side piece, Gary. Yeah, Whether you want to, you know, want to. Um, when did this happen? No, it I was wanna, like, I know when he it? is a friend with benefits. Like early yeah. February, he's definitely not a main guy because. Oh, if so you she were caught a main you guy, right before. If he was the main guy or he was potential, she caught you right before have, she know what she was doing. She is just playing both sides. She wants to keep you have her cake and eat it too. She want to have Gary. She trying to have a cake and eat it. Ice it, right? Uh, drown it down with milk. But I will say this: ice she cream probably did start to have feelings for you. That's probably why she ghosted. Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. that. I'm not gonna just say the girl don't care about you at all. But she definitely does not. Um, if you were ready for that commitment and she did you like that, I would not put her in a good like a relationship category because yeah. yeah. she's unstable. It's, it's just like if a guy proposes to a girl and she right. goes no. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, how do I, how do how you, supposed like, would to you ever want to marry that? her? You wouldn't know. Yeah. yeah. So, and she's talking about, not now. Ho, I can, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 the real me kind of creeped the, the, it happens. The PG 13 version creeped out of me. <laughs> but it's like, you talking about some not now. It's like, I can propose to you mm -hmm. and you can say, yeah. It doesn't like we could take two right or three away. years to actually get married. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why are you talking about some no now? And just like a relationship kind of thing, it's like you know, I want to just you know, just be you. Mm -hmm. But yet you say no now, right? I, but see, I think it's like this, y'all. Men do that all the time to, to women. Every day, women do that. Men, 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 men do that all the time. Women. No, what, I'm trying to get to a point. Okay, make okay. It, all right, put put the point in the pistol shop and, and make it quick. Men do it all the time. Now, I'm not saying that she's right for doing it, but what I think is going on is that she just, she was about to get feelings for him, but she still loved her, her baby daddy or whatever. So she probably yeah. just not in the position to be exclusive with him, but she still likes him. You know what I mean? Right. So she and, wants to be able to utilize his his male energy, his masculine energy, girl, but she don't want to sit down no, you know, stable stuff. Yeah. That's what I think is going on. And my whole thing was I was caught masculine off energy I was is caught the bar when when he when he was like she still lives with her ex. I'm just like, uh Well, that threw that threw me off. But I'm see, the like, only thing that no, like, no, like I, it throws me off because you can say all day long, I don't want him, I don't need him, 
I don't want it. I don't need it. Shout out to Mary J. Blige and Casey and JoJo for making that song. But <laughs> you can say that all day long. But at end of the night, when the rim is in the system, right? <laughs> Ain't no telling when I when yeah. I just say. <laughs> And when you you there, you ain't had a date in a few days. Yeah, you know cobwebs are starting to build up along the walls. Yeah, and I was like, oh well, and, you know now conveniently I got somebody in the cut. This this staying in the same house as me. So now let me, you know, and this is like you, I can't get that out of my mind. So when you tell me. Like, if I'm with someone and you tell me you're living with your ex, that's what I'm thinking about. What if you call me? It's like, hey, boo, what you doing? And I'm like, I'm at work. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But you living with your ex. I'm like, oh, instead of me being over there or you coming over here with me, you you letting your, your ex knock the cobwebs off of stuff. Mm-hmm. So you don't think you and somebody can, like, break up and y'all still live together without, like, the no, physicalities? No, 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 no. you can't do that. Because I have lived with someone that yeah. I was in a relationship with. And when it was over was the day I moved out. Regardless of what was going on, I had packed my stuff up and our kids, our dogs. But it's kind of like we're and in this we limbo. Moved. It's and a, it was a house, which is something that's more... You have yeah. to have more of a dedication to it than yeah. an apartment yeah, you got that more they live there. in. Yeah. We had a mortgage more together. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I'm done. Mm-hmm. I can't do this no more. And then at the middle of the night, I packed all my stuff up, uh, packed all my stuff up like uh, Angela Bassett and what's love got to do with it. And <laughs> <laughs> went to my mama's house. Her swinging and everything. Yeah. Right. I think it's possible that you can, but um, I don't. I don't recommend it. Cause like you said, it be them nights when the rim done set in, or the crown, or the hen, whatever you drink, whatever your drink is, and that person over there, you know, walking around. Cause you know, you just never know. Yeah, just got the draws on, and mm. anyway, you just never know. So I just feel like if you're going to be uh, broke up, you guys need to have your own space. Yeah, you don't need to be living together. And if you're going to be living together, don't bring anybody else into that. You yeah. know what I mean? Let that be. Wait a, until you're, you go out on yeah, your own. Yeah, yeah. And that's the only thing. It's like I know, I know you feel like you, you know, want to be with this lady or whatever. This young lady, but you, you know, yeah. I feel like you deserve better. I just, you know, because you're yeah. good, you're a good guy. Yeah, because yeah, it's like she set out to like side piece me, but we both caught feelings a little quicker than expected, and no, now we're in this like no, situational uh, no, limbo. No, like, no. yeah, wait, they wait, definitely. What's the zodiac sign? I'm a you Cancer. No, what, hers. What hers? Hers, uh, her birthday is January twentieth. So she's, she's a, a Sagittarius. No, she's a Aquarius. Oh, she's another water sign. Ja- no, Aquarius is air. You said January twentieth. Yeah, January twentieth. Yeah, she Girl, you said Aquarius. The it's a, it's first, an air the sign. First four letters is Aqua. <laughs> that ain't that got no. I, 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 I didn't assign the signs. <laughs> she is an air. I'm gonna have to get my friend up here to, to explain yeah. this stuff. But anyway, <laughs> with him, because I know he's a Cancer. So that's water. Do, cancer is a water sign, mm-hmm. which is what I am. Also. And, and which I am too. too. It's a lot of water in this room, ain't it? I know. Yeah. Just a lot of. And we from all three different probably signs. Probably why I got a pee. Pisces, Scorpio, it's a lot and of water cancer. in here. It's probably why I got a pee. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> water signs are sensitive. Exactly. And then if they don't play their cards right, they can get attached very easily. Yes. And then when they get attached very easily, something will happen to where they end up getting heartbroken. Mm-hmm. But so I'm the walk away queen. Now. I'm the walk away queen. I am too. I like walk I'll away walk away, minute. but it will hurt. Man. That's how that's how I was in the relationship that I was talking about earlier. Even though it hurt me so bad because I guess so, yeah. That man, um we was been we had been together for so long and we were so close. Like mm-hmm. we were literally probably soulmates. We even Aww. though even though we were on and off, yeah, we were like like any time we came together, it was we were a force to be reckoned with. We were we were so close mm-hmm. emotionally and physically, mentally, like we were just tied together. Right. And so even though like I recognize like, yeah, this is just kind of time for me to leave. Mm-hmm. Cause we were on and off and so much stuff had happened in between. And we would we I don't want you to waste seven years of your life yes, like scary, I did. Please don't yeah. do that. Which is what I ended yeah. up doing. 
Even, well, if you don't get no commitment in the I next couple months, you need it. to go. Right. Take yeah. your take, pack your bags and say you well, know now what. Well, she she is pack talking about bags, like us moving in together now. No, 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 no. But no, I'm no, trying no, no. to. Do you trust you that? Because if she that. if you started she gonna move another, she gonna be yes. with another man while you live. That's there. what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> you if you if you started the relationship the way y'all started, like it would be hard for me to trust. The foundation is Yeah cause it was like, Kind of rocky So yeah. How I know As soon as you don't Get tired of me Then you gonna have Somebody else swinging right, You know what I mean Like yeah. Nah and Shout out to uh, Sonya Jackson On your Facebook Ooh, live Hey Sonya What she said She said uh, <laughs> She has a man And he is the side piece Well thank you Okay <laughs> well, Sonya, Sonya Stop lying Sonya Wait a minute Cause this is the man That I think She talking about that wasn't no side piece. <laughs> now she's saying I'm the side piece. So, oh, yeah, yeah, you that. I mean, okay, that's Sonya, that's I'm gonna call you when we get done. You being a side piece is definitely establishing the situation. We know that, yeah. but what we're trying to say yeah, is that Gary you don't deserve know he's better. Side piece. No, Gary just in love. Like he just done fell but in yeah, love. Gary don't know he's the side. Piece. He know he's the side piece. He just think he like, supposed to, he supposed to get in that front spot. Yeah, like I I fell on a different wavelength than what she was, you know, yeah. thinking the wavelength was. But now that you know, after she goes to me and we rekindled and she told me like what it was, I'm like, okay, I get that. So I guess I'll just go ahead and enjoy the game at, for what it is, basically. So know? basically, keep getting the cookies. Yeah, yeah. And then he's, tr- he's trying to know. enjoy the ride while the ride. Hey, you enjoy know? the ride. She well, enjoyed your I'm ride. In, well, and if she wants wanna... situation, might end up different than mine because I was thinking the same thing. Because people was telling me, you shouldn't be in this relationship. Right. You know, you should let this person go. But I was just like, we're so connected. I want to be with this person. This person is just, is he's right for me. That's forbidden fruit, and you guys. This, we always want what we can't have. Yeah. And so, and, and it took me like years to be like, yeah, it's better off if we just not be together. Yeah. We can see each other on occasion, but we just cannot constantly be around each other. And why are we always wrong? Like, I feel like water signs are always drawn to, like, the toxic stuff. I think it's just, I don't know. It's like, we kind of like that. It's like a thrill. We don't yeah. want somebody so yeah, boring. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's real cool at the beginning, but, you know, once you get older, you just be like, I ain't got yeah, time, I ain't got time, for, time for that. Yeah. I don't, like, I don't want to even deal with G- it. Gary's young. He is Gary's young. young. And he and he is handsome. I don't know if y'all can y'all can see him, but yeah, you can. Oh, hey, they if can. anybody, thank, thank. how much time? Well, he, he, y'all look, you know, what I'm saying? Gary, kind of fun now. Yeah. And these single ladies out there, you know, what I'm saying, I ain't trying to just throw them out there to right. the wolves, but we need some man. stableness, okay? <laughs> there you go, there you go. There's Gary with the nose ring and so everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then he be trying yeah. to lick his lips, y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah. There we go. But yeah, I'm like I'm like you know, gear. Be or uh, do what you want to do because you' wrong. Right. You, but I feel please, like you should have fun. Uh, be but, careful. Yeah. I don't. Say, at his age, as old as he is, he shouldn't be having fun. Everybody should have fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you think I, I should be like married? I have. Now? I had no. my earlier. I had my earlier. So I'm just thinking everybody else should have theirs earlier. And you got it. I got married at eighteen, and yeah. I didn't have no fun until after thirty. Well, see, the, uh, see, uh, see, I was opposite. Mm-hmm. I had my fun. I had my fun that from. So bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry <laughs> I had my so fun from seventeen to like twenty three, twenty four, somewhere around there. Right. And I had plenty of fun. Right. I I just had men all over. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so I had my fun, and then once I, you know, when I got to twenty five, mm-hmm. it was just like, okay, you're done. And it get boring you're after done. a while, don't it? You talking? No, uh, no, 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 no. For it me, don't, it did. No, it don't get boring. It, it got no, boring. No, 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 no. It was like the same thing. It over didn't and over. get boring. It was just okay. You need to focus on something else. Because yeah. at that time it was like it was no career. It was it, like it had nothing to do with career, nothing about kids, nothing about being in a relationship. It was nothing about that. It was just let me go out, do as much as I want to do in a shorter period of time, mm-hmm. and I had my fun and I did that. And so I'm, that's what everybody in their early in their late teens, early twenties should do. Like when you're like seventeen, eighteen, until you're about in your mid twenties, do that. Have your fun. Do however many people you want to do safely, and do it at that amount of time. But when you get twenty five, it needs to be about you because by that time you need to be trying to figure out what your career is going to be. You know what you want to retire when you want to be doing. Like what you know, it's 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 that time is it's time for you to start planning. 
Right. Because you're still young enough to have a career. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, you need to start, you need to start doing that now. Mm-hmm. You need to start doing that when you're 25 because you do not want to be like Gary. <laughs> 31. Why would you say that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> now you good. You I'm did. Sorry. I'm 30. I'm yeah, 30. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's you do not want to be well, well they know Gary was born in the 80s so yeah. he got to be at least 30 <laughs> anyway you don't want to be like Gary at his at that age trying to have fun and then you don't know what's going on Hey, I thought we don't. Know, you don't know how people are trying yeah, to play fun. you because that girl is playing him. But he could get that could happen to a forty year old. It don't got nothing to do because with. They're stupid. It don't got anything to do with because his age. Stupid. That could happen to a a fifty year old if somebody not because being one hundred with you. I'm, All I'm, I'm t- saying, have fun until you not having fun no more. We got three minutes. Okay. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to make this point real quick and then we're gonna be done. I'm gonna why tell y'all you, all why the you, social media stuff. So it's cool to have your fun, but at a certain age, you need to know what's going on, how they're treating you, how to tell people how they're treating you, and how to go on about your day. So, in the early 20s, late teens, like I said, from like eight, 17, 18 to like 25, mm-hmm. be used, be abused, you know, do all that stuff. Until you're 30, you need to know what you're doing, who you want to be with, mm-hmm. or what kind of person you want to be with, and make your standards. No, have you don't you know? Don't be struggling from the same stuff from early life into this life. Okay. By that time, your struggles need to be standards. So by thirty, you need to know your standards. Who you ain't gonna be with, what you ain't gonna deal with, all that stuff. By the time you're forty, you need to be with that kind of person. By right. fifty, that person need to be in your wheel. <laughs> by sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Like for real, but everybody got di- okay. We gotta go because I was about to say yeah. everybody got. We gotta go. Life make, sh- make sure y'all follow us or me or whoever. Um, Gary, please make sure you put the YouTube link in the description box in case you missed the live, and make sure you follow the fan page, which is it's on Facebook and it's Pick a Struggle mm-hmm. on Facebook, and make sure you follow us on Anchor because I have an Anchor podcast that I want. That I actually do make money from because I make money from this. But make sure you f- <laughs> you listen to us on Anchor that I actually do make money from, and it is a n c h o r dot f m forward slash d r e d a y a l l d a y Anchor dot f m forward slash Dre Day all day. Make sure you follow us that. And then our theme music is give is given to me by a friend of mine who is a local rapper. Um, his name, it, the group, or his name is Too Lit Diff. They're on SoundCloud, and the song is called Rich. Please look out for that. He's on SoundCloud. I don't think he's on anything else. I'm going to try to link that in the description box, or link that in the comments later on. But please make sure you st- you tune in next week, because we doing this every week. I don't give a damn about no quarantine. We will be here in this studio every week at 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., mm-hmm. unless the people after us actually cancels, and then we can try to take over the hour. We That's might have we- a mask on next week, just so y'all know. I ain't putting on no mask. I got a, I got a good immune system. That's what God blessed me with. Amen. But thank you all for being here. How much thank time you, I got y'all. left? Thank you, y'all. Thank you, y'all. You got one minute left? Okay. All right. Yeah. And guys, make sure Gary, y'all I'm follow- praying for you. I appreciate and real that. Real quick, y'all, make sure y'all follow One Passionate Pen on YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Get close Anchor. to the mic. Make sure you're saying it right. One Passionate Pen on YouTube, Twitter, and on Anchor Podcast. And who that be? It's a friend of mine. He's a poet. Oh, he be writing stuff, y'all. <laughs> Do you like his poetry? Yeah, he's really good. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to really check good. him out later mm-hmm. on when I ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Which is easy now. I know, I know. It's so oh much free goodness. space out here, free time out here. Right? Okay, was it thirty seconds? Okay, what else are we gonna do? What that's it. We... Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, y'all. Right. I really appreciate Sorry, the support. Sorry, I'm gonna call you when we get up out of here, cause girl, I didn't know you was a sad chick. She said that Gary was a side. Uh, oh, she definitely. said Gary is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see? <laughs> Thank you for agreeing with me. Gary's a he side is a side piece. piece. He but know he that. Cool, he cool, though. Gary, you cool. You got to be here every week, though, because the last dude we got yeah. was kind of dumb. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all take care of y'all self. Right. Y'all be good out here. Be safe. Wash your hands. And don't be uh, no, no, you know, no, no. out here doing Just stuff. do what you've been doing, what you're supposed to have been doing. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Yes. And clean up y'all kitchen. Trying to cook in there. I know. <laughs> Bye. Got, got uh, cats all in the sink and stuff. <laughs> About to have me cursing. I know. Is my battery dead yet? <laughs> Let's get it. I'm just trying to get rich. I can't go where the paper don't flow. I can't hang if you ain't about the dough. Let's get rich. If you stagnant, not worry about no bread. Ain't no way that you could get ahead. I'm trying to get rich. Stacking paper, trying to live a better life. I can't be broke. Worry about no jewels and nice. Let's get rich. I can't go where the paper don't flow. Stacking paper, trying to live a better life. I can't be broke, worry about no jewels and nice. Let's get rich, get rich. I'm trying to get rich, let's get rich. I'm trying to get, you niggas ain't trying to get rich. Steady, worry about that next fix, trying to hit a quick lick. You ain't heard of longevity, I plan for the shit that's ahead of me. Block the negativity, I stack my guala to infinity. Ain't sharing with no enemies, I need 50 feet if you ain't kin to me. I need a crib with a whole lot of acres, no fakers, just maids and landscapers, nigga. Now that's rich. Turning knowledge into weapons, heaven destined, watch me spit a little blessing, nigga. Now that's rich. Fuck oppression, share equality, my loyalty run deep, so my brothers always ball with me. Stacking paper, trying to live a better life. I can't be broke, worry about no jewels and nice. Let's get rich, get rich. I'm trying to get rich, get rich. I'm trying to get rich. Guess who's back? Yes, it's your favorite radio personality.